As mentioned, our guest now off the top of the program is the New South Wales Premier, Barry O'Farrell. Premier, thanks for coming on the show. Pleasure to be here. Can I ask you about the, the GST? The, the Labor Party have jumped into Tony Abbott on this, suggesting that he's left the door open uh, to the possibility of something happening in a second term. Uh, he and his shadow treasurer, Joe Hockey, have talked about the fact that the states would need to make the running uh, on any adjustments to the GST. Do you see yourself making any running uh, on exactly what they're talking about? Well, it's a predictable and dishonest scare campaign from the Labor government. Uh, the fact is that all states, territories and the Commonwealth would have to agree to any changes. Um, and what Tony Abbott has said is there'll be an inquiry. If that throws up changes to the GST, he'll seek a mandate at a second election. Now, there's lots of ifs, buts and maybes there. And one of the great frustrations that I have as someone who believes that we could uh, eliminate uh, uh, anti-economic state taxes in exchange for changes to the GST is that if you're effectively going to try and do that, you've got to get everyone to sign up. And inevitably, there's a state or territory or Commonwealth election three months away which stops any change occurring. But it sounds like you would like to see change to the GST, but your concern is whether you can get the consensus for it. Well, I know, I've argued on this program before that uh, I'd like to get rid of the uneconomic uh, or anti-economic uh, taxes that New South Wales engages in, payroll tax, land tax, taxes on investment, taxes on employment. But the only way I can do that is to have replacement um, income in order to fund the schools, the hospitals, the police that are so necessary to the state. It's interesting, though, because Julia Gillard has categorically ruled out doing anything on the GST. Uh, do you think you'll get a more sympathetic ear to the need to do something about it for the sort of removal of regressive taxes that you talk about from an Abbott government? I don't know. What I, what I hear Tony Abbott saying is that he'll have an inquiry. An inquiry, we, we, if, it's, if it's unfettered, uh, will come to some conclusions. And what Tony Abbott has said is that at the election after that, uh, he'll consider those options. But you know, the biggest and most real scare campaign in this, camp, in this election is that the current mob of incompetent economic managers, the Labor Party, get elected. And I think people have already made up their minds about that. That's why I don't think that scare campaign will run either. So what you're saying, Premier, is you think it's very important that this tax review, which Tony Abbott's foreshadowed, does include the GST? Well, we've seen tax reviews by the current government that have had limits put on them. Um, if we're going to be fair dinkum about this, we need to have a review that is comprehensive, that looks at what, what is best for the country, and what I, hear, what I hear Tony Abbott saying is he wants to have a review, but importantly, to, to, to stop the nonsense that uh, the Federal Labor Party is going on with, there can't be GST changes unless every state and territory agrees. But there can't be GST changes, Tony Abbott says, unless he takes it to another election. How important is it, do you think, that Tony Abbott keep his nerve on this inquiry? Because essentially he's going to be now subject to a very strong scare campaign. People will be saying that he should exempt the GST from this tax inquiry. So how important is it that he keep his nerve? Well, I have no doubt that he will keep his nerve. I think he's shown, uh, particularly in his budget reply and the lead up to it, great courage. So whether it's uh, what he's arguing in relation to workplace relations or whether what it's arguing in relation to taxation, I think it's a sensible approach. Uh, get into office, uh, have a review, and if major changes are to come out of those reviews, take it to the people at the next election. I think that's uh, understood by people across this country. People know that one of our biggest challenges is productivity, that that issue has to be addressed. People know that the current tax system uh, is failing and you've only got to talk to business and uh, people across states like New South Wales who see these regressive taxes that we can only eliminate if we were compensated for it. And the best way to do that, as I've argued on this program before, is through the GST. So you think the public is in fact prepared to accept uh, an increase in the GST? Look, I think after um, six years of a federal yeah. Labor government, six years of an incompetent treasurer who's failed to articulate uh, a, a rational economic policy. Uh, the public understand the systems are broken. They're looking for hope and Tony Abbott is giving them that hope. Yet we're going to have to wait another three years before he'll even take it to an election. But I have to say, um, Peter, that you've got to bring the community with you. You've got to bring the community with you. you know, Labor governments have a record of trashing public trust by promising one thing and doing another. Uh, one of the things that Tony Abbott has to do federally is what we've tried to do uh, in New South Wales, is restore public confidence. And you do that by taking people into your confidence, explaining why things are necessary, and then putting them to the next election. Can we, can can we get down a brass tax on <coughs> GST, though? Because you, you've talked about it for a while, it's, and you've obviously put some thought to it. Um, are you advocating a, a broadening of 
uh, GST or an increase in the base rate of GST. What And uh, on the other side of that, of course, is uh, the reform of how GST payments are made back to the states, which is probably more important to you. Well, well you're nothing <coughs> if not single-minded, uh, Simon, because you asked me exactly the same question the last time we had this discussion. And so I'm I, hoping for a different answer I, this time. I, I, think, I think all <coughs> options should be on the <coughs> table, um, broadening the base, uh, looking at the rate, <coughs> um, and also the rebates back to the, com to the states, <coughs> but only because... I don't want to increase the tax burden in this country. I want to reduce it. I want to make sure that uh, uh, the, the taxes we have are efficient taxes, not taxes that work against employment, like payroll tax, work against investment, like land tax. And so what I'm saying is we should have a, a fair dinkum and honest discussion uh, nationally about what we can do to get rid of inefficient state taxes, state taxes that hurt investment, hurt employment, and see whether the best way to replace those that revenue stream to the, to the states is through changes to the GST. In terms of the carve-up of the GST, though, uh, Tony Abbott has, has made it clear, or is at least intimated, uh, that it would be New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland that might take a lesser share of their GST so that states like WA, where Colin Barnett has been making a real song and dance about how small a percentage share they get of their GST collections, gets an increase. Uh, Tony Abbott has ruled out South Australia and Tasmania taking a hit, um, but he very much put your state of New South Wales in the firing line. How do you feel about that? Well, clearly, I'm not going to support uh, New South Wales getting a, a lesser share of the GST. We already get shortchanged by the Commonwealth Government. You know, one of the so-called great announcements in the federal budget was $400 million into the F3M2 link, uh, well, that will come with a $135 million reduction in our GST payments. So, so what, what was uh, touted as a $400 million injection is, in fact, uh, you know, a $270 million injection because they're taking $130 million of GST away. But the so, Commonwealth doesn't get any of that. That just gets redistributed to other states. But, but the point is, look, the genius of John Howard's GST is it gave the states a growth tax. Uh, um, perhaps the, the less clever parts of uh, John Howard's GST was the fact that there can be no changes unless every Commonwealth uh, entity uh, signs up. Uh, and also the fact that uh, states like New South Wales get short changes. But De Tony Abbott did intimate that, that he thought that New South Wales and Victoria and Queensland might be open to his idea of WA getting more if they got a little bit less. You're closing the door on that. Uh, we're open to a review that seeks to determine how we can uh, better apply not only the GST but also the GST proceeds. New South Wales needs uh, more investment in infrastructure, not less, and we're looking to a federal government to deliver us our fair share, not more, but our fair share of infrastructure.